In this lecture, we will learn about the kinetics of decomposition of hydrogen iodide. So this is explained based on the mechanism of the reaction and based on this, the quantum yield for this reaction is explained. So decomposition of hydrogen iodide is a photochemical reaction. It is brought about by absorption of light of wavelength less than 400 Armstrong. And the kinetics of the reaction can be explained by taking the mechanism of the reaction. The suggested mechanism of photochemical decomposition of HI is first step is dissociation of HI by absorption of light to give H plus I and the rate constant for this reaction is given by K1. Second step is the H formed in the first step reacts with HI to form H2 and I. The rate constant for this reaction is K2. And the third reaction is combination of I plus I giving I2. The rate constant of this is K3. So HI is getting decomposed by steps 1 and 2. So in the first step, the rate of decomposition of HI is depends upon the intensity of radiation. So if Ia is the intensity of the absorbed radiation, then the rate of decomposition of HI by in the first step is given as minus dHi by dt is equal to k1 into ia hi is also getting decomposed by the second step so rate of decomposition of hi according to the second step is given by minus dhi by dt is equal to k2 into concentration of h into concentration of HI. So we can write the overall rate of decomposition of HI by combination of these two steps. Therefore, minus dHI by dt is equal to K1 into IA that is by first step plus K2 into H into HI that is by second step. So, the rate law for decomposition of HI is given by this equation which is equation 1. So, this is the rate law for decomposition of HI. Now, you can see this mechanism here in the first and second step an intermediate is formed H in the first step which is getting consumed in the second step. So, H is an intermediate which is formed in the first step and it is consumed in the second step and a stage reaches when the rate of formation of H by step 1 becomes equal to its consumption or its disappearance by step 2. So, we can apply steady state approximation to the concentration of H. Applying steady state approximation to concentration of H. So, according to this when the rate of formation of H becomes equal to the rate of disappearance, the rate of change of H becomes 0. So that means the concentration of H becomes constant because its rate of formation is equal to its rate of decomposition. So there is no change in concentration with time. So at steady state, we can write dH by dt becomes equal to 0. So, the expression for dH by dt 
is as follows so h is formed from the first step so rate of formation of h in the first step is given by k1 into ia and in the second step h is getting consumed so its rate of consumption is equal to k2 into h into hi so rate of change of h with time is equal to rate of formation of hi that is by first step minus its disappearance by the second step which is k2 into h into hi and this is equal to 0 when steady state is reached so therefore we can rearrange k2 into h into hi is equal to k1 into ia this is the second equation now substituting 2 in 1 we get minus dhi by dt is equal to k1 into ia plus you can see here this is k2 into h into hi which is equal to k1 into ia so here also we can write k1 into ia so this is equal to 2 into k1 into ia so we can write the equation once again minus dhi by dt is equal to 2 into k1 into ia this is equation number 3 now we can write the expression for quantum yield so quantum yield of the reaction phi is equal to rate of disappearance of hi divided by rate of absorption of light so this is equal to rate of disappearance of hi is given as 2 into k1 into ia and the rate of absorption of light which is in the first step is given by k1 into ia so this becomes equal to 2 so here we can see that quantum yield is 2 in this case phi decreases as the reaction proceeds this is because there is one more reaction take that is taking place when iodine is getting accumulated so as iodine accumulates a thermal reaction becomes more significant which is as follows and the reaction is H plus I2 I2 this is formed by the third step here I2 is formed in the third step so I2 is getting accumulated and that I2 reacts with H to form HI plus i and the rate constant for this reaction is k4 so now we have to include this reaction also in the kinetics of decomposition of hi so let us write all the four reactions once again first reaction was second reaction was third reaction was and when I2 is getting accumulated by the third reaction, you have the fourth reaction, which is a thermal reaction. So we have to consider all the four reactions this time while deriving the kinetics. Now apply steady state approximation to H, including the fourth step. So H is getting consumed in the fourth step also. So applying steady state approximation to H, that is dH by dt is equal to 0. We can write expression for dh by dt. H is formed in the first step. So, um, it, this is equal to rate of formation of H by the first step which is K1 into Ia. H is getting consumed by in the second step. So, rate of disappearance of H will be minus of K2 into H into Hi. And H is also getting disappeared in the fourth step. So, rate of disappearance of H by the fourth step is given as this is minus of K4 into H in, into I2. So, this is rate of 
formation of H and this is rate of disappearance of H by step 2 and this is this is rate of disappearance of H by step 4. And this is equal to 0. And this we can write it as the fourth equation. So we can re rearrange the equation 4 and get expression for H. So H is equal to K1 I A divided by K2 H I plus K4 I2. This is equation number 5. Now we have the expression for the rate of decomposition of HI, the rate law for decomposition of HI which is the first equation. So substitute 5 in 1. So for that I will just write the first equation once again. The first equation was minus DHI by DT is equal to K1IA plus K2H into h i this was the first equation so instead of h you have to put the expression what we got in equation 5 so this becomes k1 i a plus k2 into k1 i a divided by k2 h i plus k4 i2 into h i So we can rearrange this. This is K1 I A plus K1 I A divided by K2 H I by K2 H I dividing numerator and denominator by K2 H I we will get this plus K4 I2 divided by K2 HI. So this becomes K1 IA plus K1 IA divided by 1 plus K4 I2 divided by K2 HI. We can take K1 IA out. So we can write minus DHI by DT is equal to K1 IA into 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus K4 I2 divided by K2 HI. This is the sixth equation. We can rearrange it once more. So this is becomes minus dH i by dt divided by ia is equal to k1 plus k1 divided by 1 plus K4 I2 divided by K2 HI. This is equation 7. So as the reaction proceeds, concentration of I2 increases. That was by step 3. So when concentration of I2 is increasing, the denominator here this will increase. So when so the denominator as a whole will increase. So this expression that will decrease. This expression will decrease. 
so the rate of disappearance of hi will decrease so what will happen to the quantum yield phi is equal to rate of disappearance of hi divided by rate of absorption of light so when rate of disappearance of hi decreases the quantum yield also decreases